Links are how you navigate around your Flinto prototype. And there's several different ways to create links. The most common is to select a layer and then click the Create Link button. You'll see this red link line appears that you can use to set a target for that link. When you click, you get a popover and it lets you choose the gesture that activates that link and the transition that you want to use. So I'm just going to choose None and open up the preview to test out this link. So when I click there, I'm taken to, back, taken to this screen with no transition. In the inspector, you can see the gestures that are attached to the link that you have selected. And here you can change those same options. So I can change the gesture here, I can change the target, and I can change the transition. So I'll switch to a crossfade transition. Cool. Now you can also draw links. If you click the draw link button, you can click and drag to draw a link in whatever size that you want. Now this is really handy if you don't have a specific layer that corresponds to the link area, or you want to make a link that's extra big so that you have a bigger tap target. You can also add multiple gestures to a single link. So again, in the inspector here, I'm going to say add gesture and I'll choose left swipe this time. Now you can see I have tap and left swipe. And with one of these selected, you can click create link and it will actually um, set the target for the selected gesture. So I'm going to say that that will also go to this screen, but it's using the left swipe and I'll choose the push left transition. So that's how you make a gesture activated link. There's a few link shortcuts that are handy to know about. If you select a layer and then press F, that's the same as clicking the Create Link button. Just think F for Flinto. If you press the D key on your keyboard, you can then draw a freeform link. There's one other shortcut, which is you can right click drag on a layer to instantly create a link from that layer. The last thing I wanna show you is how to make a back link. If you click on a layer, I'm gonna add a tap gesture to it. If you set the target to backlink, that link will go back to the previous screen and reverse the transition. So if there's multiple screens that have links to another screen, a backlink will always go back to the screen that it came from. There's another faster way to do this too. I'm gonna to use the right click drag shortcut and target this little arrow that appears on the screen that has the link. That's a quick way to create a backlink. Okay, let's test it out. Cool, looks good. In the next video, we'll look at how to create your own transitions.